bring the ball. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Corgis, to me, um, you've got all the attributes of a big dog in a little dog. Um, they're very, very hardy. Um, they have a lot of stamina. If you want to go on a good long walk, they will keep up with you. Likewise, they're quite a handy size uh, for having around the house. They're, they're not too big. Jack. Jack. You're Jack. <laughs> hey, Jack. Kylie, no. Well, this is Penny. Penny's just over four years old. And this is Jack, and Jack is 19 months old. <laughs> the Queen, Kylie. their first corgi was, I think it was in 1935, it was bought by the King from a very famous kennels, the Roosevelt Kennels, and they bought a, um, a Pembroke corgi um, named uh, Roosevelt Golden Eagle. Uh, and apparently the story is that um, he was decided upon, but then he had to go back to the kennels because the family, the royal family were moving. Um, and when he went back to Thelma's kennels, apparently he wouldn't eat with the other corgis from the litter. Um, he wanted a bowl separately on his own, so they called him the Duke. Uh, and this is where his name originated from. He was then known as Dookie. Yes, that'll do. Now stay down, stay down. The Queen had her first corgi as an 18th birthday present, and that was Susan. Um, and the Queen bred on from Susan, and currently she is the only corgi breeder whose breeding goes back to her foundation bitch. Okay. Drop the ball, Kylie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Queen has given up breeding. Um, you know, she feels that she's getting to the age now that the, the corgi will outlive her. Penny, Penny, that'll do. Temperament-wise, um, years ago they used to be known for being very snappy and I think there's a few reports about the Queen's Corgis snapping at the heels of some of the guardsmen and uh, some of the, the staff at the palace. But over the years we have managed to breed out this snappiness. <coughs> Kylie, no. <coughs> Kylie, no. family pet. They really are uh, sort of a, a handy size and um, they're, they're very devoted to you. They're very good house dogs because they have a nice bark on them. I just love their, their appearance. I love their, their sort of temperament, you know, and uh, I don't know, they're, they're just fun to have around.